Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web10 Pro App App and in the previous videos, we started with the properties of layout elements. So firstly, we understood the meaning of the various properties. We took a requirement based upon that requirement. We made a copy of already developed Web10 Pro application, but we did after that, we created a transparent container. Whatever the layout elements we want to make visible or invisible, we simply put into the transparent container because that is the best way. Rather than going for individual, individual layout element and setting the visible property, it's good that you can simply put into transparent container and you need to set the property visible of that transparent container. After that, we took one attribute in at the view level itself. We simply binded that attribute with the visible property of the transparent container. If I will go for transparent container, the visible property is binded to that particular attribute. Now, after that, we covered we have one method WDDO in it. This method triggers before displaying a particular view. And this is what we want. But we want whenever our application appears at that time, we do not want, we do not want these layout elements, which is in the transparent container. It means before that itself, we need to write the logic. So before that, we will write the logic to set the attribute to false. You all know whenever we will set the attribute to false, this attribute is binded to the visible property of the container. So if this attribute is false, the transparent container will not be visible. Now, after that, we will simply, simply go for the submit button at the initial level that transparent container will not be visible. But whenever we will click on the submit button, after that, this transparent container should be visible. It means at two places, we will write the logic. Firstly, we will write the logic in WDDO in it because we all know this method will trigger first, then our view will appear. Whenever our view will appear, we have a submit button. On the submit button, we will set the attribute to true because we want to make this container visible. It means logic will be at two places in WDDO init method and on the submit button. I will go for the methods. And now I will simply, simply go for WDDO init method. And this method will trigger before displaying the particular view, before displaying the main view. I will go to change mode. And here I will write the logic. Now you all know in Web10 Pro ABAP, the best part is there's no need to manually write the code. We'll simply, simply use this button, Web10 Pro Code Design. I will go for this button. Now I will go for set operation. Yes, I want to go for set operation because we want to set the attribute to true or false. I will simply go to context. I will go for visible attribute. I will go for OK. Now we will simply, simply remove the commented logic. Now we want to set this attribute to false because we want to make that container invisible with this container should not be visible, whatever the layout elements in the container that should not be visible. So firstly, how this will be triggered whenever we will run the application, this method will trigger first. It will set this, it will set this attribute to false to space and this attribute is binded to the visible property of the container. This attribute is binded to the visible property of the container. You can see visible property of the container. 
it means that container will be invisible. Now, now on the submit button, we want to make this container visible so that layout elements will be visible to us. Now on the submit button, we have the method on action display. So here we will set that attribute to true. So I will simply, simply go for WebDen Pro code wizard. It's just a complete conceptual topic. If concept is clear, it is very easy to understand. I will go for set. I will go for this visible attribute. I will go for OK. Now, as a best practice, I will simply, simply put the data declarations at the top. Now I will remove the commented logic. Now, whenever user will click on the submit button, we will set the attribute visible attribute to true. We will pass the value as capital X and this attribute is binded to the visible property of the container. If this attribute is true, it means visible property of the container is true. If visible property is true, it means container will be visible. Now I will check the syntax of the whole application. And what is the best way to activate? Just go to display mode. Right click on to WebDen Pro component. And you can simply, simply activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we studied how to write the logic. Now we need to write the logic at two places. What is our first place? First place is WDDO init method. Why this method? Because this method is triggering first, then our view is coming. And before itself, we need to write the code so that container will not be visible. So what I did, I simply went to this WDDO init method. We called the, we have simply went to this WebDen Pro code wizard. We have chosen the set operation and we set the visible attribute to false. And this attribute is binded to the visible property of the transparent container. So container will be invisible or you can say it will not be visible. Then after that, I went to this the on action display method because once you click on the submit button, then container should be visible. Then I went to this method and simply we did the same to same process. We have chosen the set operation, but this time we set the value of this attribute to true. You all know whenever this attribute is true, it is binded to the visible property of the container. So that container will be visible. Now in the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.